Emma. Emma. Oh, hi, Jude. Um, what's the meaning of this? Really, Emma? Aren't you supposed to be a Christian? Uh, yeah. That's why I made you a Christmas card. Don't you know that Christmas is pagan? No real Christian should have anything to do with these deeds of darkness. Judy, would you like to come inside for a second? Don't worry, I won't take your pitchfork again. Judy, would you like a Christmas cookie? It's got chocolate in it. I'll just put it right here for whenever you're ready. Just. So, Judy, we've been neighbors for quite some time now, and I feel comfortable enough asking you some things about this topic. Christmas, the time we celebrate the birth of Jesus. You say and think that it's pagan. Why? Emma, don't you even know the origins of Christmas? The birth of Jesus? Uh, it's the celebration of the Roman sun god Saturn. It's called Saturnalia. Okay, do, Judy, do you know the date of that celebration? December 25th, duh. We should not be celebrating this. Okay, well, actually it started on the 17th of December every year and only went until the 23rd. So if Christians were trying to hijack this pagan holiday, not only were they late, but literally no Christian I know worships or celebrates the sun god. That would make them pagan. Well, you know what, Emma? There's more. There's the problem of the Sol Invictus, a pagan feast, which I know actually took place on the 25th. Ha! Yes, it took place on December 25th, but nobody celebrated it until the Roman Emperor Aurelian instituted it in 274 AD. And references to Jesus' birth on December 25th were almost a hundred years before that, so... yeah. You know what, Emma? There's no evidence that Jesus was even born on December 25th. Absolutely, that is debatable, but it doesn't logically follow that it's automatically suddenly pagan then. It doesn't... Okay, you know what? Christmas trees. Don't you know that in Jeremiah 10, it specifically says that it's abhorrent and evil to cut down a Christmas tree and decorate it? Uh, it doesn't say that. Yes, it does! <sighs> It says, do not learn the ways of the nations, for the practices of the people are worthless. They cut a tree out of the forest, and a craftsman shapes it with his chisel. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with the hammer and nail so it will not totter. See, I told you. I'm just trying to save your soul, Emma. Judy, work with me here. This is literally talking about the wood that's used to chisel false idols out of. The entire chapter is labeled gods and idols. Pagans would cut down trees, chisel it into the shape of their false god, adorn it with jewels and gold, and pray to it. Now, by using your own logic, if it's made out of wood, then it must be pagan. That's literally almost everything that your house and furniture is made out of. Is your coffee table pagan, Judy? You just made me put my pearls on, Emma. Do we need to talk about that? Don't make me clutch my pearls, Emma, because I will. Obviously, this isn't talking about Christmas trees at all. They didn't even exist back then. It's all about the wood that the idols are made out of. So unless we bow down before our Christmas tree, carve it into an idol and pray to it, these passages cannot be applied to a Christmas tree. I'm still not impressed. Is this the best you can do? Christmas is just about commercialism, all about money. It's not right to celebrate it. I actually partially agree with you here that Christmas has been made out to be something that it's not. It's a Christian holiday, yet so many people that celebrate it have made it about anything but Jesus. However, to your whole argument and point, that does not inherently make it pagan just because it's been commercialized. Americanized, maybe, but certainly not pagan. You can celebrate Christmas and not go into debt. I don't see anyone celebrating Jesus here, Emma. It seems that it's all about this non-existent guy named Santa, which sounds a lot like Satan, by the way, and reindeer, the North Pole, and cookies. And milk? 
What's so Christian about that? Yes, this is true. Santa doesn't exist. Sorry, kids. But a guy named St. Nicholas sure did. He was a 4th century Christian bishop, and he helped poor people with gifts. But they weren't toys or candy, but rather money that he gave to rescue people from poverty and from being sold into slavery. I agree that Christians should focus on Jesus during Christmas time. But St. Nicholas was a prominent figure in exemplifying many Christian traditions at Christmas. The Santa that we know today, the way he looks, the way he acts, that Santa got his identity around the 1950s. You can actually thank Coca-Cola for that. Oh. How do people drink that stuff? Okay, well, the nativity scene. Yes, I agree. Most of them are completely inaccurate. The wise men were not at Jesus' birth, but most likely were there when Jesus was a toddler, and that's when they gave him their gifts. They were far, far away when Jesus was actually born. What's your game, Emma? Look, nothing you say is going to convince me that Christmas isn't pagan. All these facts don't help the fact that I believe it's pagan and no Christian should celebrate it. Well, Judy, honestly, if we're gonna get technical here, then wearing a wedding ring has pagan origins. The names of the week, the names of the planets, crossing your fingers and even covering your mouth to yawn has arguably pagan origins. By this logic and in this aspect, if you were to avoid everything pagan, you basically wouldn't be able to live. It's what I do, Emma. I put an impossible yoke on people. I live for this stuff. Everything that I just named to you is arguably more pagan than the birth of Jesus. And second, can Christians use cultural traditions to point people to the true meaning of Christmas? Absolutely. I can see if we were participating in the worship of false gods, but we're not. That's not what's happening here. Well, that's just brilliant. Why don't we all just sit down, watch Harry Potter, and eat Lucky Charms while we're at it? Just let all the demons in. This isn't over yet, Emma. I'll go ahead and take your evil card, and these, and this. Hey, that's mine. And I'll just be on my way. Where's my pitchfork? I told you I wouldn't take it. Merry Christmas!